Hi guys, Arindam here. Hey, you. And in this video, I will show you Parasar Roundup on Gamma Difficulty solo using only primitive gear and using no other tames. So, I have two primitive long neck rifles with around 500 tranquilizer darts. I have a primitive pump action shotgun with 200 shells. And I have the default Federation exosuit skin that you get when you start up with Genesis Part 2. That's it. I am not going to be using my Shadow Main or my Argentavich or anything else. Just these three and this armor and these weapons. That's it. So let us start. Now, I had previously done this mission with Tech Gear and uh, that mission ended in less than 11 minutes. Wait. So that mission actually ended in 9 minutes, not 11. And we will see how different both of them are. Obviously, this is going to take more time. But this thing I have, this particular mission I have done to ensure that uh, people who do not have access to tech gear and people who are just starting out in Genesis Part 2 should be able to complete this mission at least on gamma so there are 12 parasitatheriums that you need to trank and there will be six rounds for it so in each round you can net minimum two that should be enough to complete the mission and in each of these rounds there will be four rexes that will be hunting these parasitatheriums which you need to kill First thing to do would be to kill these Rexes. On Gamma, it's not a big deal. So, the Rexes are dead. Now you need to do is find one of these big guys and start ranking it. Now, there are adults like this one, there are juveniles and there are adolescents. Adults take CD, adults take more torpor damage but they are also the ones that will try to attack you. As you can see, there are four or other five adults in this stage. The thing with primitive gear is, as you can see, I'm taking a lot of time. Okay, first one is gone. Nice work. I'll set this one aside for analysis. So it took around sixteen or seventeen for the first one. Now in each round you're going to get a couple of minutes to actually complete the round. I have around bit less than two minutes to go. So hopefully I should be able to net one more before the timer runs out. Compared to using an Ascendant Take Bow that I used in my previous video, this is taking a long, long time.
Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So, clearly we cannot do anything more in this round. It's done for this round. What we can do is, we can just hover over and see. Right? Okay. So... First thing to do is kill that excess. There should be four rexes. So the rexes are done. Now it's time to take out the parasers. So this is an adolescent, no point in doing this. Let's try to take out something that is not an adolescent, like this guy. Because the adults actually have much less torpor compared to the adolescents and juveniles. And you can use the H key like I have to figure out which one is an adult and which one just looks like an adult but is not. As you can see, it's taking a lot more damage. In fact, in all honesty, I think uh, in the previous round I had wasted my ammunition on uh, non-adults. That is very dumb from my part. Anyway. We have around one minute to go, so this one looks like we can do with this thing. We have one minute to go, so let's see if I we can uh, knock this guy out.
so well we are not doing anything more this round clearly The Rexes are done. Now, let's see. This is not an adult. These are adults. Yep, this one is an adult. I believe this is getting the maid boost. That's why it's taking less torpor damage. The, these big guys don't take any headshot damage I mean any additional headshot damage so no point in hitting their heads This is an adult. These guys are stuck. So this has to be a female. So I think the better strategy for me would have been to take out the male first and then target the female which means the mate boost would have disappeared. Unfortunately I didn't. These are like small small tricks that you should do which should help your mission a lot. Also try to take at least two long neck rifles. Even three would be better. As you can see my, my first long neck is going to uh, suffer from durability problems anytime soon. The golden rule in art is to always have a lot more than what you think you need. I don't think I will be able to complete this in time though. It's only 50 minutes remaining so I'm just going to ignore this guy for the moment. There's nothing I can do. Okay, so this day is done. Looks like you've picked up a trail.
round up as many as you can. Next thing to do is, so we have a female, we have a male, and we have a female, so let's target the male. Hopefully, by negating the mate boost early on, we should be able to net 3 in this round. I would love to know why all of a sudden the counter changed to a different counter for the male. And weirdly, this one is having 69, even though there is no mate boost. So there is nothing we can do about these guys though. We will have to wait for the next round. We have female, male and male, so the female is the one to target, <coughs> excuse me.
one aside for analysis. Now we have two minutes for two of them. Let's see. Well, that's very strange. It's still 69, even though I have disabled the mid boost. Will I be able to complete in this round or do I have to go for one more? That's the important question. Okay, I, I, I think I know what, why the maid boot is not working. We need to be sufficiently away from that. Yes. Nice I realize now. <laughs> we need to be sufficiently away, obviously. We didn't actually kill the female. We actually netted it. So it's still alive. Hence the maid boost is active. I should have known it. <laughs> Could have saved a lot of time. It's going to be in the nick of time if this actually finishes. And we are nice done. I'll set this one aside for analysis. Slow down. I should stand this. Well, 24 minutes. Those nearly. Gave me ideas to boost your appetite and improve your digestion. Nearly 24 minutes. So using the base basic primitive gear can see I needed around uh, 178 rank round so 200 should be a safe number for this and you definitely need two primitive long legs because of durability concerns and a primitive shotgun should be enough one shot is taking out a rex easily also armor does not play a part because you're going to hover mostly around what is interesting to note is that um, I took nearly 24 minutes to complete this mission and in my previous video I had used Ascendant Tech Bow and in that case I took less than 9 minutes. So 9 versus this 24. I do believe I am very close to my own base. so. Yes, I'm very close to my own base, so let me go to my base and we'll end the video. Okay. Here is my base and video. I'll eventually show you, give you a tour of this base. So for the moment, that was it for Gamma. And let me show you what I got as reward. This is the reward. You get a survival boon. That's it. And uh, we are mostly done with most of the missions. So I should be able to uh, start with sir, the boss fight sometime later on. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll soon upload the beta version of this. So stay tuned. Oh, that's nice. Thanks.